Speaking of support for the community, Trooper Pat Bartram loved to take his kids shopping at the annual Shop with a Cop event. After his untimely death in 1998, his family started a memorial foundation to help more fallen families in need. Terrell takes us to the Trooper Bartram Memorial Ride, where people came out to celebrate his legacy while raising money for the annual Trooper Bartram Christmas for kids. We are grateful to you to be able to continue the spirit of Pat Bartram and his incredible love for children and their families. This is the Trooper Bartram Memorial Ride, and every year, Helping Hands for Freedom and Trooper Bartram team up, and we do a program for kids for Christmas. When Trooper Bartram got killed in 1998, his legacy is he always wanted to help children. And so, uh, because of his kindness, they've helped over 1,500 children since he's been killed in the line of duty for the Indiana State Police. We're here at the Southside Harley Davidson, and I'm here with Sandy, and I'm asking her what is the connection between Harley Davidson and the Memorial Ride. We came on board a couple years ago uh, with the Trooper Bartram ride as a starting point for their ride here and Indianapolis Southside Davidson will be 68 years old in October and we have been doing a uh, charity ride since we moved to our new facility so we had more room uh, since uh, about se almost 17 years ago. So with this event it attracts people from all over to take the ride from here to Ed Edinburgh? Yes, the ride leaves here, uh, the route goes back to the west and down by where Trooper Bartram was killed in the line of duty on State Road 144 in Morgan County. Okay. Um, there uh, Trooper Dustin Starnes will be uh, sitting and to, to meet those riders coming through and uh, which is kind of special for us because just a few days ago was the anniversary of, of Trooper Starnes' father being killed in the line of duty who was uh, Dan Starnes was a Morgan County Sheriff's Deputy. So that means a lot to us that Dustin comes out as a, as a survivor also uh, and helps us out with our, our ride. Okay, I'm here talking to one of the officers who did Christmas for Kids last year, and I just kind of wanted him to um, introduce himself and explain to me the experience that he took on last year. My name is Sergeant Tony DeLello with the Indiana State Police SWAT team, and uh, last December we, we had a very humbling experience. Uh, the fundraiser we're here for today provided the money that we could take 100 plus kids to uh, Walmart down on the south side and get them some, some gifts and some clothes and some needed items that they might not might, might not normally get through a Christmas program. So tell me exactly how Helping Hands for Freedom actually crosses over and helps with Christmas for kids. Well, last year we partnered up. For years, uh, I've, I've ran Shop with the Cop and different programs throughout Indiana. And since I've taken this new position, I didn't have that opportunity to do that anymore. And it's something I missed. I missed helping people. I missed making a difference. And so Trooper Bartram, Memorial Foundation started the Trooper Bartram Christmas for Kids and they weren't big enough to stand alone on their own yet so we partnered with them and we did 109 children last year uh, at the Walmart in Canby and it was our first year together just the two of us so our whole thing is it's not a handout it's a hand up and you know if you my mom always said the only time you should look down on someone is if you're reaching down to pick them up. To donate or buy a t-shirt in support of the Trooper Bartram Memorial Fund, visit them online.